Okay, so I have some algebra right here. Now, what makes this algebra? Well, uh, in particular, I have some variables going on. Okay, so I have an x and a z. This is certainly not arithmetic. So right off the bat, this math is not, you know, something that you will learn, particularly, let's say, in elementary school. Although you were, in fact, doing algebra back in the second or third grade. You may not have realized it, but I'm using these variables, x and z, these symbols. Then here I have an equation. So this is an example of algebra. Okay, but what is algebra? And what are some of the basic ideas of algebra? That's what I'm going to try to cover in this video. It's just going to be a quick video on trying to uh, reduce any anxiety that you might have about algebra or confusion about it. Because this word, okay, algebra, a lot of uh, people... Uh, especially as they've gotten older, uh, in their 50s, 60s, 70s, or whatever, maybe in their 40s, 20s, it doesn't make a difference. When people look back and they had a negative experience with math, you know, especially like algebra, like, oh, I hated algebra in school. You know, they maybe do these problems about a train going this way and another train going that way and what time they would meet. Who needs that stuff? You know, most people were just like, you know, forget that stuff. I, I hate algebra. Listen, I get it. You know, if you're learning something and it's boring and you don't really see the application behind it and it's frustrating, you know, then you're not going to like it. You know, so I get that. However, algebra is actually a very cool math subject. It just really depends on how you were taught it and, you know, your level of interest at the time you were learning. But right now you might be going to school, maybe you're... Um, an adult or maybe you're in college, you're like, you know, I got to pass this uh, particular math course, you know, that involves algebra or I won't be get, you know, be able to get my degree or I need to prepare for a test or I won't get my certification or I won't get it to this school or that school. So listen, whether you like algebra or not, this is, it's important that you understand this. But my goal is to try to get you pumped up and excited about algebra. So, you know, you could do both. We can understand it and maybe have different feelings towards it. But we're going to talk about some of the most basic, basic ideas of algebra here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But very briefly, um, I have about 100 uh, different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of uh, taking a math class, I can help you uh, excel and pass your course. If you're taking any exam that has math on it, so for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACUPLACER, ALEX exam, CLEP exam, uh, nursing uh, school entrance exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. There's a lot of exams out there that we have to take in life, and oftentimes there's this pesky math section that you have to get ready for. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum you might be interested in. And uh, if you don't have good math notes or no math notes, or maybe your dog ate your math notes, you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave, leave a link to my um, math notes in the description of this video. But hopefully you don't need my math notes because you should be taking awesome notes. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, this is one of the secrets to being great at math is having great math notes. Okay, so I just want to ask you, what do you think algebra is in its most basic uh, um, kind of description? If you had to uh, define algebra, so let's say somebody came up to you and you're, they said, hey, I heard about this thing called algebra. What is it? How? What would you respond? I'm just curious. Put your answer in the comment section. You know, what? Would, how do you define algebra? Okay, it'd be kind of interesting uh, to see these uh, various responses. But let's go down here and just start talking about some of the main ideas of algebra. Okay, so here we have like x plus y is equal to 8. So that's some algebra, right? Uh, now, what is algebra? Well, you know, you can kind of formally define this and everything else, but the main idea behind algebra is that we're working with variables. Okay, now we have these things. Where, remember back in the second and third grade, we we're doing like 2 plus 7, all this kind of good stuff, or uh, 312 times uh, 15. So you're working with uh, numbers. We're doing basically arithmetic. But somewhere along the line, you know, oftentimes in middle school, you start throwing in these little variable stuff. So that's that's basically defines algebra. Now we're 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 introducing variables in mathematics. But what are variables? Okay. So the main concept of algebra is that we're using variables as placeholders that represent a number. 
okay? So let's look at this real quick, like x plus y is equal to 8. Well, x represents some number and y represents some number. Now, what numbers do they represent? Well, I don't know. I mean, let's just try to figure this out for a second. Um, x could maybe be 7, all right, and y could be 1 because 7 plus 1, that's equal to 8. So maybe x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 1. But I could, uh, you know, switch this around. Maybe this is going to be x is 4, y is 4. That would work as well. But the bottom line, what we're saying here in algebra is that we have two numbers. A number plus another number is equal to 8. So the main, one of the most basic concepts of algebra is that the variables, all these little symbols that we're using are placeholders for numbers. They represent numbers. So that's the first big uh, concept that I want you to remember when we're studying algebra is that all the things that you see, you know, whether they're m, z squared, uh, y plus 1 uh, to the negative 3 power, all these expressions and stuff represent ultimately uh, some numeric value, okay? Now, with that being said, now of course we don't always plug in a value and evaluate these expressions, but just, you know, always keep in mind that variables are numbers, okay? They represent numbers. Now, because they represent numbers, we got to be super good at the math that involves only numbers. So what would that kind of math uh, be like? Well, like one half plus uh, two thirds, you know, divided by, you know, uh, 10, for example. So again, we're going back to elementary school, primary school, all that good arithmetic stuff. So to be successful in algebra, you have to be successful in arithmetic. Okay, so math does build upon itself. You've got to understand how to work with numbers because variables represent numbers. So you got to be super strong in arithmetic. Okay, so what would that be? Well, you know, we're talking about things like basic uh, number operations. You got to know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide. You definitely have to know how to work with fractions, okay, and decimals. All this stuff is super important uh, to uh, be successful in algebra. Now, somewhere along the line, as you are kind of graduating beyond arithmetic into algebra, we have this course called pre-algebra, okay? And uh, you start learning, let's kind of put it over here, um, about positive and negative numbers. And then you start, we start looking at other properties so we can kind of be fully prepared to deal with all the variable expressions and stuff that we learn in algebra. But your success in algebra, okay, depends on your success in arithmetic. So if you're struggling in algebra, what I find is that typically students are, uh, you know, uh, weak in this area with arithmetic, you know, adding, uh, subtracting, uh, multiplying, dividing, fractions, decimals. And another huge one over here is the order, order, okay, I'll put it right here, of operations. This is, this is a big one, okay? So that would be like your PEMDAS. Um, so for example, if I gave you something like this, uh, 10 divided by 2 times 3 squared over uh, 4 minus 5, okay? So we have this. This is not algebra now, okay? This is a bunch of numbers. So you don't see any variables in here. You got to be able to work with expressions like this. Again, you got to be an expert in arithmetic. So you got to know the order of operations. You got to know how to do all these various uh, mathematical operations. You got to be able to work with fractions, decimals, positive and negative numbers, etc. So to be successful in algebra, you're going to have to be super uh, strong at these, um, you know, foundational skills. And I can tell you right now, uh, through decades of teaching um, algebra, uh, a lot of students, you know, if you're struggling, I'm, I almost can guarantee you that you're you need to go back and strengthen. Uh, one or more or all of these particular skills that I'm talking about, okay? All right, so um, again, if you're strong in arithmetic and working with numbers and you keep in mind that algebra, the variables represent numbers, then you're going to be on the right track in order to uh, work uh, with algebra. Now, algebra, you know, in terms of its practical applications, one of the big things that we love about algebra is that we get to solve equations okay now equations all right we're talking about like um things like this 2x plus 1 
is equal to 9, something like that. So what's the whole idea behind solving an equation? Well, some of you out there are saying, well, there's no purpose to it. It's just a bunch of busy work uh, that your teacher has you doing in school. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, yes, you have to do this, and you have to practice solving equations that may not have uh, meaning to them. But let's just keep in mind, okay, the whole point of mathematics, right, it's a language to solve problems, to solve actual problems. So um, once we learn how to solve equations and we start learning about solving equations, we can apply this knowledge to solving word problems. And this is the whole idea behind, you know, mathematics. Mathematics, uh, you know, is a tool, okay, a tool to solve problems. So you're going to be solving problems, whether it's, you know, pr practical problems, pr science problems, financial problems, anything else. We can look at situations where there's unknown values and build relationships. Basically, we're looking at a bunch of data, a bunch of information, and what we want to do is take that raw information and establish some relationships between uh, that information and try to build equations, okay? If we can do that, we can solve these equations, and this would be like solving a word problem, and then we can provide solutions to problems. And that's one of the main, main ideas of algebra. And we don't know these values in advance. We don't know the numbers that make things work. So we use these variable placeholders, okay? So this is just a real basic sense of, you know, algebra and where it's going. Now, there's other things. Let's kind of go down here because our, our graph is getting a little uh, crazy. But in the, an algebra course, okay, what are some of the things that you study? Well, at first, okay, we need to learn the basics. All right, I kind of went over those. Things like the order of operations, order of operations, all that PEMDAS uh, stuff. Uh, you got to know what a variable is. You got to know how to work with numbered uh, operations. You got to know positive and negative numbers, all these basic skills. And then you start learning uh, different properties in algebra, okay? Things like the distributor property, et cetera. We kind of go and then we start talking about, hey, what is a term and what are like terms in algebra? And from there, you start learning how to solve equations and inequalities. But we don't want to get, you know, there's so many different things. You kind of get uh, lost in this big jungle of different skill sets. But all this stuff is important. Then we start talking about lines, how to graph lines, what we call linear equations. Because these equations we can express as lines. Because graphs, if I can see things graphically, I mean, this tells a story right here. Okay? So I can describe... You know, maybe the um, you know a, a situation or um, you know something's going on. Like you know, this is kind of what well, you do this in data science. You know, I can describe. Um, you know, I'm trying to think of a, a problem or or, or information uh, graphically. Okay, so it's telling me a story, so I can actually interpret the graph to you know reason through and and make predictions or or look at patterns. And and this is extremely important. So equations have a graphical equivalent and you learn how to do all this stuff and then and, and uh, as we continue on in algebra you learn more about uh, different type of equations there's a ton of different type of equations things like systems of equations quadratic equations on and on and on okay but remember as you're kind of progressing through all these di different skill sets the main main idea again okay in algebra is that these variables represent numbers, right? You gotta be strong at arithmetic. And ultimately what we wanna do is take all this data, either create equations or graphical equivalents to solve problems, right? And that would be like in the form of word problems or other type of problems. So hopefully this video has cleared some confusion up. Hopefully it hasn't made you more confused. If that's the case, well, you know, maybe I need to make a better video, but uh, you know, I'm kind of coming at this uh, loosely, informally, and just talking about algebra. But uh, whatever you put in the comment section, I'm pretty uh, uh, sure that most of you put something good in there. Okay, Even though maybe your description of algebra was uh, different than mine, if you put in like, hey, it's the you know math where you work with variables or whatever it is, I'm pretty sure you probably put some pretty good stuff in. And now maybe you can reflect upon your answer and connect it to what I was talking about. So Anyways, algebra, uh, you know, absolutely critical math course that everyone, at a minimum, should understand basic algebra, okay? 
All right, so with that being said, hopefully this little video was useful and uh, please consider smashing that like button if that's the case. Uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced math. So my goal is always to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.